Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have here a tool from Top Don. It is the Top Scan OBD dongle. So this is a diagnostic dongle tool and you do have to download an app for it from the Google Play Store there or Apple Store. So you can see there you need to search for Top Scan or Top Guru and you can find the app. Okay, so we're in a vehicle here that we can test it out on. This is the tool itself, so it just comes as a single dongle in the box. So if we go to the Google Play Store and we search for Top Scan, there it is. So we'll find the OBD port on the car and get the tool inserted in. So this vehicle I'm looking at here is a Volvo and I'm going to need to download the Volvo system on the app. Okay, so a couple of minutes have gone by and we have downloaded the app. So now that we're in, we'll do a diagnostic. And just down here we have an auto scan button, so we're just going to run through everything. Let's make sure the ignition's on. Okay, so it's just running through all of the different systems there now. And you can either pause it or just let it continue. Okay, so surprisingly, it's logged up quite a few faults. Let's go in and see what we have. So we've got one for the positive temperature. Power steering. Control module, electrical failure. So uh, I think we've had a bit of a, maybe a weak battery on this car. Air quality sensor. Uh, at least in the ECM we have no faults. Power tailgate module. Probably going to be some more voltage related stuff. Signal incorrect. Positive sensor, signal incorrect. Okay. Go to data stream there, see what information we have for the tailgate. It's an electric tailgate, so tailgate handle released. Let's go back out of there. Go into the engine ECU. We'll have a little bit more live data stuff in here that we can show that we might be a little bit more interesting to most people. So you've got the vehicle speed, uh, the voltage, outside temperature, barometric pressure, engine coolant temperature, AC pressure, AC relay status is not activated so let's turn the AC on, let's see if that changes. Yep. Alternator current. Grill shutter position, boost pressure. So if we give it a hard acceleration, that should increase. There we go. So we've got loads of different data streams here. Particle filter. Well, there was something going on there with that because now it's just dropped down. Surely that's not right. Let's have a little look. On the graph. That's not working. I think that data is a little bit off there, 26 grams. We have one HVA now. Let's accelerate it up a little bit. Three, four, five. EGR commander position. So now if we exit the data stream, have a look in the special functions. We have option here to 
com for the combustion of the soot particles, which is uh, forced regeneration, reset the counter for the particle filter, adaption of the throttle, check the engine oil level, adaption of the differential pressure. Let's see if it will actually do a forced region or is that just an option in here that doesn't work. So if you have more than 100 grams of soot, it says here, then it won't allow you to do it. So we have the live pressure there, we're holding the accelerator up say to around 3000 rpm seems to be a little bit off sometimes there don't know if it's just this car the actual pressure sensor there I think might need a little bit of a adaption done on that so we'll try and do that in a minute so let's try adaption of the pressure sensor see if that fixes that issue where it's going it seems like when it goes below zero so it's it's pulling below zero and then it's just given a crazy reading of 6,500 okay let's start so the adapted pressure is now zero I think that's why the high soot, soot grams are in there a little bit of confusion going on with the sensor there so we'll exit let's go back here so now we can see we have three HPAs of pressure and if we accelerate now back up to 3000 rpm forty three okay let's try and trigger off a force region I'm not sure if the actual engine temperature is up up to temperature yet so it may not allow me to do it just yet we have current 62 degrees particle filter pressure is 1 HPA so let's get that engine temperature up to scratch we'll need to get it rolling about up around 80 degrees I think okay we are at 75 degrees let's Press continue and see if that works. Hey, that didn't work. Let's just try it again. We've now got the temperature over 80 degrees. Okay, we can't seem to get that to work. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the car, but let's see if we can reset the counter for the particle filter. So we have 26 grams calculated. Now that would have been off because the pressure sensor reading was wrong. Now that we've adapted the sensor and it's reading correctly, let's reset that. 26 grams there. Sorry, I'm trying to get the screen to uh, stay focused there. Okay, let's press start. Okay, so that's done. That's worked nicely there. That's been reset. So with a particle filter pressure sensor reset and the soot grams reset, you need to be careful what you're doing because if your pressure is really high there, this, this these numbers, if that's really high and you reset it, you can overheat your DPF. So just be careful when you're doing that. This car here is sitting round about perfectly where I want it to be, three, four HPAs. And if we hold the accelerator up, round about 3,000, we have 49 to 50 45 HPAs so you shouldn't reset that if you have high pressure in your DPF let's try some more options we've got a record option so we can record our live data and let's press stop save that video yes Let's do a report. 
Now let's share that report and we'll use it on Gmail. So this one here. So in our email address here, this is the report that we get. So you can send it over to customers or your friends or whoever you're using it for. Or you can send it to yourself for uh, for your own records. So here is all of the stats of the car at the time that we done the report. Now let's see if we can find that recording we made. Now first we're going to clear all of these DTCs that we have. Now that's done. Exit that. Exit the hot functions. So your diagnostic reports are saved in here and of course you'd have loads more if you've done a few more cars. So in the app here we have a $49 diagnostic one year software update, I take it. That's in the mall section. So let's click on the maintenance, more. We have oil resets. So these are the only cars I've downloaded so far. Volvo and Ford. We have electronic park and brake reset, steer and angle sensors, ABS, DPF, battery monitor, sensor and airbags. So we've got all of those items there that you can reset. And yeah, we've already got that there. Now, I can't seem to find where that video recording I done of the screen. I can't seem to find where that's gone. I looked in the phone uh, ca calendar, sorry, in the phone gallery, uh, and it's not there. And I can't seem to find anywhere on the app here where, you know, your recordings would actually go. So maybe I'm just not, don't know how to work this just yet, but maybe that. Okay, so that is the tool, top scan from top down. A little bit cheaper than your normal tool, of course, because you are just buying the dongle and you download the app on your phone. Um, seems pretty decent for what it is. Uh, the only thing I couldn't do, two items there, I, maybe it's just my my knowledge of uh, how, the, how the system works, but I couldn't find the, the saved recording I'd done of the live data, and I could not find... A way to trigger off the region on this car but i don't know if there was maybe something there stopping that maybe the temperature or something was wasn't in range but i'll put a link in the video for it pretty good tool for your diy person i'd say or even most small sized mechanics small sized garages pretty fine would find pretty good use out of that so i'll see you on one of the next videos i'll put a link in the description like i said See you later.